Hey guys, trainers here with another video for you today, and today we are back in Bone Lab, of course, some brand new, well, not, re well, some of these are brand new mods, but mostly updated mods, we got, of course, Drax's updated arsenal for <laughs> random weapons from many different games, and I'm so glad he's adding more wacky stuff and moving, not really moving away from Call of Duty, but, you know, at moving on and adding more different variety of weapons, I really love this. I hope Drax does more and more weapons like this from very different games to make the most insane stuff like uh, Cowboy used to do. He used to do a lot of you know cool, powerful weapons and whatnot. Mostly Call of Duty, of course, but you know, you still uh, do a lot of the Wonder Weapons. I hope Drax kind of takes over with that, adds a bunch of different Wonder Weapons into the game so we have Wonder Weapons again, unless you know Cowboy comes back and he decides to do Wonder Weapons plus other things again. But anyways. Don't be rambling on. Hope you enjoyed that that intro. Love everything about it. Love the bam <laughs> plushie. Um, if you didn't know, there's a bit of a drama for the last couple of weeks, almost a month now, doing with uh, Noah J456. So, you know, I'm starting to question like, what's bam? You know, what's bam doing in all this? Is he gonna be? Moving on to other things, making this pretty much his own genre. So you guys stick around with no dick. I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So we're gonna start off with the AA12, and Dax has outdone himself again with these crazy mods. Of course, AA12 doesn't have too much going on with it, but it is very nicely made. And I'm working ass for you know. That's weird. When I first tested this, it wasn't um, fully automatic. For some reason, it was um, really semi-automatic. Unless... Yeah, weird. I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Okay, it's, it's the front. That's why it's the front. You press the front, you press the menu button. Awesome. A uh, little idea for a couple of these gun straps, if you know mine, I would suggest, you know, adding drum mag variant for more ammo. Maybe have the button press on the back and then it just turns this into a drum mag variant, which I think would be very cool. Just a small little opinion I have, okay? Um, I think. I could be completely wrong. I think this is from. Hmm. Very nice model, but. I'm probably completely wrong, but I think this is from Starfield. Hmm. Yeah, it's a I love the little, little ammo counter up there, that's so nice. Oh, it's so cool, he had a little ventilation system. And it closes right back up if you put the mag in. Oh, I would've loved it if you added that cool little like heat haze effect. You probably did, and you just can't see it right now. I love details in this game, it's so great. Anyways, up next is the uh, Thompson, but with a drum mag. Very nice. Oh, come on. Very nice, love it. And for all you who don't know, freaking uh, been talking to Hunter a little bit, and um, he, he did say that he's gonna be working on the COD Bone Z, you know, restarting that from the ground up to make it a lot better than it was, and hopefully he'll have some um, some awesome new 
things added. And hopefully, I'm hoping he gets some of the other modders, like maybe Jack Baker or some of the other modders who add in the cool little animation, animated characters, which I'll be showing off later in this video. Hopefully, we'll get that going. But here is, yeah, this is definitely from um, Starfield. This is the Big Bang, I believe. A little shotgun apparently, but they're cool little feature about it. Okay, that's the menu on that. There we go. <laughs> nice little freaking um port comes up. Got a mag in there and then you yeah. off for the races. Love that. I really wish you could eject the mag yourself, but it is what it is. There's anything else you can really do with this gun, but it is pretty cool if you want to like that. Cool sci fi shotgun. God, I do love that animation. It's so nice. God, this thing looks cool. I really do love that. That's awesome. Alright, we're gonna probably do a little bit of cleanup here. It's always best to start cleaning up. Just a little bit as you're going along so you don't start lagging to high heaven. But up next is a very customizable vector that has an adjustable or retractable. A, I forgot what they call this. It's not a retractable stock, it's a stock you put in the bend and whatnot. Unless that is what it's called, but I don't know. I'm not the stock expert here. But as you can see, you grab the back and press menu, you get just the different. Uh, railing system types and then I believe it's up here you can have a suppressor also go back and this, this and then have this sorry you press trigger you extend the barrel add the suppressor then of course add the railing system you want uh, it makes me wonder is like Jack's ever gonna like expand upon this system and like bring back the attachments like it's been a good minute oh. now you can also adjust the uh this one yeah there we go selector there it's weird a lot of the modders seem to be I guess it's not that weird, but they seem to be experimenting a lot more. And like, doing different things with weapons nowadays, like different ways to adjust and change things like this. Like I said, you can no longer, you can't grip on this one at least, but on some of Drax's weapons you can grip the selector switch. Because he's just doing, you know, different experiments with that one. But uh, here is like one of the most cursed items ever. Press the menu button here, you can go ahead and add a scope. Let's see? Yeah, you know, it's semi automatic, but if you go ahead and grab it here, for the menu button. Completely ridiculous, completely cursed weapons, and I just, I just love it. It's awesome. Up next is this crystal sword. Okay, it's it's stuck, but uh, it doesn't matter because, as far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything. So. Eh. I mean, it's just a cool, awesome looking melee weapon. I kind of wish it had some like cool effects, like, I don't know, some type of like, when you pull the trigger, it shoots like an energy sli slice or something. Like, that would be cool. Or if you press like the menu button, it would do a cool little animation or something. Just little cool little things like that to make the weapons stand out even more. Actually, be super fun to use. But we got another um, Starfield weapon here. Some little ammo, ammo counter on it. 
Oh, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see the reticle or not, but it's like doing a circular movement. It's cool. Oh yeah, if you obviously didn't notice somehow by now, we, the um, Melon Loader mods are back, so they've been back for a good minute. I just finally got around to installing them. But yeah, a lot of the cool mods are back, like you got your bow menu over here, you can mess with bow lib again, you go ahead and use any mag uh, magazine again, not on the full time, you got map perspective. And then of course you got Ragdoll, which finally works properly again. So, there you go. <laughs> I landed perfectly on the table. That's awesome. Whee! And then of course, if you didn't notice, I'm a Ford pool. That's right, you heard me right. I'm Ford pool. I'm going to show off what this avatar has on it, which is awesome. Amazing work. This is Hunter's avatar, but let's focus on Jax real quick. Well, this is it. Later. Okay, okay later. So this is the Deagle, Jax's Deagle. Bullets are down there for some reason. Weird. As you can see, it changes color, and if you didn't notice, the ammo counter is high. So. It's pretty much the less powerful variant of the um, Admin Deagle with a cool color rainbow RGB effect and it doesn't have infinite ammo but it's still pretty cool. But up next is, uh, oh, hold on. there we go, the extendable baton so you can go ahead and bash people's skulls and then you can just put it away for later. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Up next is, I do not remember the name of this. It's a cool freaking pistol. One weird thing is, it's on the thumbnails. You can put the magazine up here, but it doesn't seem to go. Then again, I could be wrong. Maybe it's not up there. I also remember. I might have covered this thing before, but for some... I feel like I covered this gun before. I feel like I figured out how to get... Because I believe this is supposed to be like a fully full auto pistol, but I could be wrong, but then again, I'm pretty sure I, mean, I found out it was by pressing a certain thing on this gun. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Anyways, up next is the... I, I hate this abomination. This is the Glopson. You can't tell what that means. Well, I mean, you can't tell what that means. Pretty much the Glock and the Thompson. So. Doing an abomination to mankind. <laughs> Up next is the STG, which doesn't actually have much to it except for this little cool bit. There you go, we got a nice suppressor. Yeah, 
decent weapon. Pretty cool. Up next is the, uh, I forgot the name of it. It's a machine gun, and you can pretty much do this with it. Pretty awesome. I love it when these type of details are added in. You can grab it like this. I believe you can also put these down. Could be wrong. I guess I'm wrong. Huh. This one you can put that down. Of course you can add some person to it. I thought you could put this down, that's weird. Mm -hmm. Oh well, still pretty cool. this is actually physical so you can smack it down and then chamber it again. Again, love details like this. Of course, I'm not going to have to handle that again. I wish you can grab the Magazine thing, and of course, we got I forgot to mention this. This is the maximum nine. This is the regular variant. I actually own the airsoft replica of it, which is pretty freaking awesome. And of course, everything you do from earlier, you can do this thing, got that, make it on, go back, automatic. Pretty cool gun, love it. Really nice. Up next is another Starfield weapon. Jam them in there. Definitely a little cool, interesting weapon. Up next, the piece of resistance. It's a freaking mounted minigun. So yeah, this is pretty cool because now you can just literally, you can probably put this on top of vehicles and as you're driving around, have someone in the back and just. Pretty cool mountain minigun turret. Really love that the barrel, you know, does that. But it's just pretty cool. Up next is this amazing weapon. Now there's surprisingly Surprisingly enough, there was another way you can reload this thing. I don't know why you need to do this to do that, but it is what it is. Yeah, I don't know why the magazine release, the menu button, isn't the thing that just pops it open. Then you have to grab this and press the menu button on it. Huh. 
deter. Whatever. Still pretty cool, but um, early when I was using this. Really? It's still a pretty cool gun. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool though. But yeah, I only one I was using this thing. I think this. Guess it was supposed to be. Yeah, I could get it through here earlier, but now I won't do it. That's pretty cool though. Dude, my love, that was pretty cool. Up next is the one of the guns from the uh, Apex, the Titan Pole. It might be from Apex, though. Pretty cool. Nothing really to it though. Our next Starfield weapon. It's really nice. We have this more ammo down there. There it is. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next mod pack. Or actually, not the next mod pack, but the next new mod. Okay, so I was gonna do something a little bit, uh, something else, pretty much, but I almost forgot <laughs> to show off these. So let's go ahead. So yeah, this mod comes preloaded with these two beagles and the two holsters at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Amazing work from front there. I don't think. Yeah, that's not. But yeah, got the two desert eagles. They come with a cool ability, which I didn't think would actually be in this mod, but you can just... Like, I'm so glad Hunter added that small little detail. Like, that's such a sick reload. I freaking love it, man. Also be cool if we could just slam the magazine the guns down and they would the magazine would go in. There was a mod like that in Boneworks, which was amazing. That's sick. So let's move on to the next mod. Alright, so as you can see, we got the wool ring claws back. Unfortunately, they're not the super cool ones that, you know, retract and extend, but I mean, they're still pretty cool. I mean, good to have the wool ring claws back. I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and hate the modder did an awesome job, aka the modder is called uh, Goldron, 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 whichever. <laughs> and I do like the cool sounds that they make when you slice. Them enough. Wish they had more sounds like the metal tapping type sound, but you know, the whole sound is pretty cool. So, yeah, awesome little mod. Why well, use it in the later videos, but almost got forgot to completely show this off. Freaking Maggie's even fair shotgun from Titanfall, which you know, looks pretty freaking cool.
pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome mod, and of course we got <laughs> we got Wolverine. Him, so shut up, Dad. <laughs> and uh, almost forgot to show off all of Bim's uh, cool little features. So as you see, Bam Plushie, you go ahead and punch him or whatnot, and you know just down or they bleed. And, uh, you go ahead if you uh, just got uh, <laughs> You can just toss them, throw them, all that jazz, and of course, the cooler feature you guys saw earlier, you can go ahead and get an item here. Nope. Oh, he doesn't hold melee weapons, does he? Nope, he doesn't hold melee weapons. That's news to me, but of course, as you saw earlier, part of the video, he can't hold a machine gun or whatnot. He can hold pretty much any gun, which is so cool. And of course, he can do a wheel. Because, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, he can actually freaking do a wheel the guns. He can mold them up while they're in his hand. Well, mostly, anyways. This is better to just reload it and then go ahead and just aim and. Does some cool stuff. And of course, you obviously notice the other cool ability he has. Let me just take a moment right here. Go ahead and spawn in. Uh, let's just. We're gonna spawn in an enemy just so we know it's gonna work. But if you just go ahead and just get him near an enemy, you don't have to throw him, you can just walk up to an enemy and he'll do this. Which is pretty freaking cool, he just turned into this super bam for some reason. Which is awesome. I, of course I have so many other cool ideas that can go with this, like, like maybe you can activate like a, kind of like a fly mode, where he just like you press a button and he just floats next to you and like when you're when you have enemies in front of you and they get aggro it just flies to them as like mock 10 and slams them to a wall or something and they just like die i think that would be cool for like cool awesome physical stuff to just do and just have in the game but yeah let's move on to some other mods all right now you saw this mod at the beginning as well this is a very awesome mod i love everything about this, this is made by uh, pax pax on pax on light something like that pax on light amazing mod really love it definitely some wacky stuff i love meme like joke mods like this where it's like it's a banana <laughs> Uh, one thing I would, uh, obviously I'm going to suggest a lot of cool, fun ideas, like with this gun, maybe instead of shooting bullets, it shoots, it just shoots a banana, like I think that would be awesome, and like as it's shooting a banana, the magazine, I, I know there's a lot of guys, but the magazine starts peeling back, and another cool idea, you can eat the banana, like you, you, know, you just take the banana, eat it and then it will go right back into your, your inventory and whatnot. I think that'll be a cool little idea up there. Now another cool idea is the one like I was saying with the banana mac peeling like like once it you're fully out of ammo it'll be fully peeled up and then you know banana it'll be like a banana peel you can just drop it on the ground. But that'll be pretty funny and then maybe do a little joke. Something like that. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm asking a lot, but I, I just try not to these to be just awesome. Just, just the best. Now here's a classic Colts. Very awesome. Then we got the classic AK. Okay. 
I'm guessing these models are from um, Devil 7, 64 maybe. I'm not too sure, certain. That's just a random guess. Classic M4. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's an M16. I don't know. Then of course we've got the joke Python. Like I was so confused at first. I was like, it's not opening. It's not doing anything. And I was like, there's no way someone finally did this. And I'm like, oh. you should. <laughs> like the first time I saw saw that, I was like, yes, 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 yes. The memes can start. <laughs> the meme guns can start. I love that. It's so awesome. God, I miss I miss guns like this. Like we only had a couple of these at the start of uh, the lab. Like I think only one or two like actual like packs. I know we've got like super cursed weapons before, but we never had like super super mean guns like this. I mean, we've had mean guns that do wacky things, but. You know, oh yeah, I almost completely forgot. Yeah, uh, let's see if it works. Yep, there it is. Of course, we got the mag anything. But of course, we got the mags that fit to anything mine, which is, you know, super cool. I wonder. I wonder. Gonna be possible. It is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I love it. And of course, you got the banana man. Why is it backwards? Just the dumbest things possible. And I love it. I love it. I love this game. That's so good. It's so great. Of course, you got the pipe. <laughs> Let's see what can this go in there. Um, I know. Ooh, buddy. About to work. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, I love this game. That's incredible. Oh, goodness. Holy crap, it actually calculates the actual amount of ammo. That's actually crazy cool. I wish this thing had a... But it don't. It don't. Uh, Dummy. <laughs> Holy crap. Why does that look so good? <laughs> it's not even more crap. This game, man. This game. I mean, mm, put the deagle on the vector. I put the deagle on the vector. It's gonna be a minute.
Oh yeah, I almost forgot the most cursed gun of all. The reverse gun. You gotta love it. Uh, what can we... Yep, yep, that, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> what? That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> what am I... <laughs> what am I looking at? That's awesome. Oh man, I know exactly what I'm going to create for the thumbnail. That is awesome. <laughs> this is as tricky as I am. That is the most beautiful thing I've seen. The double weapon. <laughs> That's crazy, I love this. That is so cursed. Like, what the <laughs> Oh, I gotta find, like, the perfect gun for this. I mean, this is already super cursed. Like, what the <laughs> Like, what the <laughs> It doesn't make sense, and I'm looking for that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's beautiful. I know it's gonna... You know it's gonna make this even more cursed, right? Bam, stop that. Yep. We got Bam holding the gun. Oh yeah, that, that's good. That's great. That is the most priceless thing I've ever seen. Oof. That's incredible. Incredible. Anyways, um, one more mod. I was gonna go off to another map and do all that, but the video's already too long, so far. Come with me, or there will be trouble. <laughs> now, this is the freaking Robocop mod made by Hunter. That looks sick. Super awesome mod. It even comes with a custom holster. That's Reactive, like, look at that. that's insane. What is it also react over here? No, only react reacts on the right side, but it's nice. But it's another secret poster that holds any weapon I've like got. I don't think it holds anything else. Yeah. It only holds like uh, pistol variants, I think. Yeah, only pistols. Which is fine, but we got the freaking Auto 9 here, one of the most iconic weapons out there. This thing is so cool. I really love it. Why do keep doing that? You can change the slick fire. Love that. Awesome mod is always hunter. <laughs> yeah, amazing stuff, amazing work. Cannot wait for more mods like this in the near future. I'm uh I'm gonna go ahead and end the video in a minute. Awesome stuff. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. You know, comment down below. Maybe I should do this as the thumbnail. And this one. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and like and all that jazz. Uh, comment down below. We'd like to see me do more videos over in the near future. And as always, man, to
you know, I want to keep this channel alive, keep it going, support me there, layer on the Patreon, and as always, I'm going to take a step back into real life. I might actually use this eagle since it glows. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next videos. Alright, peace.